If one knows the solubility product constant for a particular sparingly soluble compound, determining the molar solubility of that compound can be quite simple. Hi, Mr. B here. In this video, I will explain how to use a KSP expression as well as a KSP value to determine the molar solubility of a sparingly soluble ionic compound. A KSP expression may also be used to determine the unknown concentration of one of the products in an equilibrium equation. Consider the following sparingly soluble compound, aluminum hydroxide, where the equilibrium equation will be aluminum hydroxide solid will ionize and reach equilibrium to form aluminum ion and hydroxide anion. Of course, these ions are aqueous. The first step in solving this particular practice problem is to determine the KSP for the compound, which may be found on the table. It just so happens that aluminum hydroxide has a KSP of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 33. Now suppose in a practice problem you are given the following information. The concentration of the hydroxide in the solution is known to be 2.9 times 10 to the minus 9 molar and you wish to determine the concentration of the aluminum ion. To do so follow these simple steps. We have the KSP value of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 33. The KSP expression will be the concentration of the aluminum cation times the concentration of the hydroxide anion raised to the third power, which represents a stoichiometric relationship in the equilibrium equation. Since the ratio is 1 to 3, we may now substitute x for as follows, x and 3x, and place these x's in parentheses to represent the species in the KSP expression. So at this point we have KSP is equal to x times 3x cubed. Okay? And at this point we now substitute the actual value for KSP and the value is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 33 is equal to x times 3x cubed. Now in the information we know that the value of 3x is actually 2.9 times 10 to the minus 9 molar. So in the next step in place of the 3x, we simply insert that given information, which will generate the following. 1.8 times 10 to the negative 33 is equal to x times 2.9 times 10 to the minus 9 molar cubed. Now we can solve for x. To solve for x, simply, obviously, divide through by 2.9 times 10 to the minus 9 molar cubed, which will generate the following x, which is equal to the concentration of the aluminum ion, mm -hmm. is equal to the KSP value, which is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 33, divided by the cube of the given concentration of hydroxide, which is 2.9 times 10 to the minus 9 cubed. This will equal 1.8 times 10 to the negative 33. Now clearing the denominator, we will get 2.44 times 10 to the minus 26. Dividing 1.8 times 10 to the negative 33 by 2.44 times 10 to the negative 26 will generate a value for x to be 7.4 times 10 to the minus 8 molar. This means that the concentration of the aluminum ion given a concentration of hydroxide of 2.9 times 10 to the minus 9 molar will be 7.4 times 10 to the minus 8 molar, which coincidentally also reflects the molar solubility of the compound since the ratio here is 1 to 1, which means that the amount of aluminum ion produced will also reflect the amount of the compound that actually dissolves. 